Hey, all you plant parents out there, welcome back to my channel. This is a spotlight video on the upright jointed rhizomatous begonia griffin, a beautiful, beautiful plant that actually grows faster than I thought it would. Um, this I got, maybe it's about a month ago, a few, a few weeks to a month, uh, and it was, let me see if I can show you, it was about this tall, and now you can see how much it's grown. Uh, it's in a north-facing window. I kept it in the pot that it came in, with the soil that it came in. And what I've been doing with these guys is um, I don't repot. I don't repot at least for a while because I know, from my experience, in my environment at least, these plants do fine remaining root-bound, pot-bound, whatever you want to call it, for... A long period of time they don't really uh, show any signs of decline in any way and actually I've gotten so many new leaves and you can see there's a new one right here as well let me put this under the light to see if you guys can see it look at that it's almost like a, uh, a maroon the leaves leaves come in the new leaves come in like a maroon color and um, the the leaves as they grow because they're near the window, but they're not getting any direct sunlight at all. They kind of have like a purplish tinge to them. But anyway, uh, you can see it has, it looks almost like a king, but they consider this an upright growing rhizomatous begonia. So whatever that means. <laughs> I know it's confusing, but it looks like there are two upright rhizomes here, two stems, and the plant is doing extremely well. Now what I've been doing for a lot of these plants Instead of just keeping it in the pot and it would topple over because obviously you could see this plant is very top heavy. Um, I put it into a glass. It's almost like a votive candle holder. And I just stuck a wick, a yarn wick. Um, it's a, an acrylic yarn through the bottom, just up maybe about an inch or so. And I don't keep this like a reservoir filled with water. I don't do that but I have the wick there because this pot doesn't reach the bottom. You can see there's a gap there. So if I do tend to overwater it, when I do water it, and there is some left, I want the plant to drink that up. So that's the only reason why I have a wick. I don't keep this as a wick watering, continuously self-watering situation. It's only for the residual uh, water that I give it. So just FYI. But anyway, you can see how small this pot is. This is like maybe a three inch pot. And this plant is getting huge. And it has grown considerably since I've gotten it. Um, I think there has been one, two, three, maybe four new leaves have grown from this since I've gotten it, which is pretty insane. But um, if you guys have any rhizomatous begonias, Rex are included in that, even though it's um, a separate category you know that they do grow very quickly. I mean, most begonias seem to grow very quickly. But from what I've seen, the rhizomatous, they just take off, especially if they're happy and they're in like a good environment and they have everything they need. I love this plant. Griffin is supposed to get really, really big and bushy. Um, again, even though it is a rhizomatous, it is an upright. So it's not going to trail kind of like, you know, like over the lip or anything like that. It's gonna continue going Upwards, I may have to stake it because this plant tends to get very uh, top-heavy. But I think this is a beautiful, beautiful plant. Let's look at the leaves up close so you guys can see. There are some silver speckling, like silver splashes. Um, I don't want to say polka dots because they're not spots like, let's say, on uh, maculata or anything like that. Um, the newer leaves, it just looks like, like dots, kind of. Older leaves, it's more like streaks, as you can see. I like that it kind of looks like a um, Brissini type leaf, which is a castor bean plant. It looks like that kind of a, of a leaf. And very tropical looking. And as this gets bigger and bigger and bigger, it's gonna look like a really nice floor plant. So I can put this eventually on the floor. It'll be nice and big and uh, impressive. Just a very beautiful, plant in general. Um, I have not, I mean, this is new to me, so I haven't tried to propagate this. Since it is considered a rhizomatous, I am going to try by leaf cutting. 
Um, I will try that first on one of the leaves. That, like, this is an old, old leaf. It's like tattered and, you know, not so happy. So I'm probably going to try that. Uh, I know that it will definitely root from the stem or the rhizome upright, rhizominous, um, from a cutting from there. I know that that will root. But if I can get the leaves to root, just like any other typical rhizominous begonia, that would be fascinating because then I can have some growing hydroponically, water culture, and maybe even in some acrylic and always keep this one in its home in the potting medium. But yeah, this is Begonia Griffin. Um, they are available at a bunch of nurseries. Just check online. I, I never can find things like this locally. I always have to get them through either it's um, Etsy, eBay, Steve's Leaves, Logies, places like that. But most of them have this plant. Again, I just think this is such a beautiful begonia. Not the typical look because, you know, I don't like... I mean, I don't want to say I don't like the typical look, but I tend to go for begonias that don't look like what you would imagine a begonia to look like. And this is definitely one of those very tropical looking plants. So if you have any questions on how I've been taking care of this plant, because I've had it for a month or so, and as you can see, it is pretty happy, um, just reach out and I will share with you what I've been doing. And it just, it doesn't seem like a, uh, a really difficult plant to grow, so far at least. Um, it seems very adaptable. And uh, before it started to, to grow at this speed, it was before I, uh, I had it in this, I think I just had like a plastic baggie around it, because that's usually what I do until I find a place for them. And uh, it dried out a little too much each time, because obviously this pot is small and the plant is a thirsty plant. So it wasn't really growing very fast. It kind of just holds off until I water it again. And then it's like, all right, let's push out a leaf. And then it would wait until I water it again. But now that I, I have this going on and any extra water will get whipped up through the acrylic, it seems to be much, much happier. And it is definitely a beautiful plant. Just look at these leaves. I love begonias in case you haven't known. Anyway, any questions on Begonia Griffin, just reach out. Um, and if you haven't already, like I always say, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget, don't forget to share, and don't forget to subscribe. And hit that bell if you want to be notified. And I will see you in the next video. Beautiful plant.